This is Cat Fan Comics Man back again. This time I'm here with my new comic book day for the week of May the 18th, 2022. Um, I haven't gotten all my books in from last week, so that's why there wasn't a, um, a posting um, or a video with my books. But I'm getting them all together and there'll be an update on that here soon. But uh, for this week, for a new comic book day, um, I have a huge list. So, I will get things started here. First up, I picked up, of course, the excellent number three. This cover is by Mike Allred. Then we have Iron Fist, number three, and that covers by Francis Yu. Then we get into my favorite team in Marvel. We have New Mutants. Number 25, this cover is also by Francis Yu. I love magic. Magic is my favorite mutant. Favorite. Followed up closely behind with Nightcrawler, I think. Then I picked up X-Men Red, number two. And this is the Russell Dodderman cover. I, it's most of these are all the A covers. I do have a few where I bought more than one cover, but um, I usually always buy the A cover, just automatic. <laughs> then, let's see here. We have Immortal X Men number two. I thought this was a really neat cover, and this is a Mark Brooks cover. Then, let's see, next we have Wolverine Patch, number two. A lot of number twos this week, I've noticed. And uh, this cover is by Jeff Shaw. Next, I do have the A... Here of Venom Lethal Protector number two. It's kind of a throwback look there. I do like that. And then I also let's see that's Lashley right there. And then I also picked up the um, the B cover, I guess, or the. I think it says, what is it, Scarecrow Woven? Scare, Scarecrow Woven, something like that. Cover. I think that is really cool and nasty at the same time. I love that. I think it's one of my favorites for a Venom cover. I just love the way it looks. He's coming out of the dark. And you can barely see him. I love the purple tint to him, too. Like he used to be. You know, he used to have that purple tint at one time. I love that. Oh! But I picked up two covers on that one. Then we have X-Force 28. Right here. Action-packed cover there. That's a Joshua Kassara cover. Which I might also say, all of these comics came back in mint condition this week. There isn't a flaw on a single one of them. That makes me very happy this week. Especially considering how many I got. You will see. I'm 
only about halfway through. I have a lot of covers. Then next I have Fantastic Four, number 43. Gotta love the Doctor Doom covers. They're always great. This is Cafu. This is also Reckoning War. I think it's almost over the Reckoning War run. But that's a good cover right there. Then next we have Wolverine, number 21. Him and Deadpool are still at it. And that is, that is an Adam Kubert cover. Then we have, I am on this one till it ends. I love this. The Marvels. I love this run. I love it all. It is excellent. It is just a great run. I don't want to say anything, give anything away. But this is Alex Ross cover. Uh, Alex Ross does all the covers for the Marvels, at least all the A covers. And I think really all they have now is the A cover, and I think maybe a ratio if that. But I'm loving it. Love the Marvels. If you haven't checked out the Marvels, you need to. It's really good. The next, uh, let's see, I also picked up two on this one. Um, I have House of Slaughter, number six, the A cover. That is the Albuquerque variant. That's cool. I like the red mask on that. And then... I picked up the body bag cover, the body bag variant. Now, it seems, I haven't even opened this yet. It seems to be sealed also. Yep, it's in its own sealed bag inside there. So, I don't know if there's a special cover behind that. I have no idea. I'm going to have to check it out and see. I don't want to open it. Uh, I might have to order another. Or what if they're different? I don't know. Uh, anyway, this is <laughs> House of Slaughter 6. This is cover, I guess, B or the body bag variant. And it's kind of square bound. These, this is a thick book. I think that's just a cover. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute here. Let me see. Yeah. That's just a piece of cardboard on the front, if you can see. See? That's a piece of cardboard on the front inside of the sealed. So, there's a cover behind there. Oh, I wonder what it is. Oh, I hate it when they do things like that. Oh, I want to see what it is. <laughs> But I'm not going to risk it. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Anyway, we will continue on. Next, I picked up um, a new comic this week. I Hate This Place. Number one. Cover A. Looks like it's going to be a really good run. And then, of course, you know, I had to pick up the explicit cover, which is cover B. Fuck this place. <laughs> they just changed the title. But, picked up both of those. How could I not? Then, or next, let's see here. Um, oh, yeah. Um... I completely forgot. Um, we'll go back to this cover. This cover right here and the other cover, the cover is by Toplin and Lofridge. Oh, right there. Toplin or Lowridge. It's either Lowridge or Lofridge. I'm not sure which. Sorry if I'm butchering your name out there, 
but it's Lowridge or Lothridge. But both of them both get credit for the title on that one. Okay, next we have Life Zero, number four. Still on it with the creatures. Uh, and this is a, um, a Chiquetto, um, is it the variant? No, Chiquetto did the main A cover. So this is the main A cover. So this is number four. Then, or next, I guess you could say, would be, let's see here. Okay, here is Slumber, number three. This is by Fox, it's the Fox variant. That looks really disgusting, whatever she is eating. Ick. <laughs> Okay. Good boy. Director's cut. Number one. Had to get it. Loved this run. Loved everything about it. Had to pick it up. And this covers by Nick Bradshaw. Anamorphic humans are always great. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, then we have two left. Cover of Darkness, number five. I think that's the last. I think this is the last one in this run. I'm not sure, but I think so. And this covers by Hiblin. It's also cover A. There's his name at the bottom, Hiblin. I like that cover with the werewolf. It's really cool. That one's by Source Press. Okay, and last but not least, number two of A Town Called Terror. And uh, this, uh, the writing's by Steve Niles, and uh, the art is by Simon Kudransky. And uh, Steve Niles, if you know, um, well, he's known for a lot of horror, but... Um, I haven't been able to read number one yet. I'm still getting caught up. But um, I've heard it's pretty good. But anyway, that is my haul for <laughs> the 18th. As you can see, quite a few books in this haul. So... I will get to reading it, and hopefully I can let you know how some of them are. Anyway, I'm glad you watched. I uh, hope you hit that like button. I hope you subscribe. I hope you leave a comment. I try to respond to all comments. And I hope you all have a great day, and you're never bored if you have a comic around. So, pick one up and get to reading. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.